You might win some, but you just lost one. Mm, it's a hydration situation where the locker room comes to life and the X's and O's meets the eyes and U's. Want to show love? Like and subscribe to this channel. But also log on to projecttransition.org. Help educate and empower the itty bitties. Look at them itty bitties right there. We're going to give them exposures and experiences. Take them out their locales right there. Yes, we are. Why are they so excited? Because you can become a gym member for as low as $5 a month. All the way up to GOAT status. That's a million dollars. Woo! We've already had some all pros. So don't think you can't do it. You will get... This autograph, personalized, customized, recognized <laughs> book, never shut up from your boy. Truly, I will hook you up. Make sure you guys become gym members and support these itty bitties out there. Like my man, Michael Tubbs. One time, Michael Tubbs made a one time $250 donation supporting Project Transition. Love for Michael Tubbs, who will be the future lieutenant governor of California. That's the goal, at least. I don't know who you're running against, but you got my vote, Michael Tubbs. Respect to you, man. Now, make that a monthly donation, okay? Be a gym member. Don't just be throwing money up in the air. That's like you going to strip club. Don't be strip clubbing it. Like, invest it. Invest in the company. Invest in this facility right here. Invest in these itty-bitties in all seriousness. Okay. <sighs> you might win some, but you just lost one. What am I talking about, and who am I talking about? Y'all know, y'all know who she is. Y'all know my girl. What her name is? True, Caitlin Clark. All right, let me get all these ads off this damn page first. Damn, they trying to sell me like I'm in Europe. Okay, so Caitlin Clark won Rookie of the Year. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh man, the WNBA. This is the most tragic episode of marketing I've ever seen. This is talking about I, I I left to go to summer break. Pimples everywhere. Oh, puberty is whooping my butt. I haven't had my growth spurt yet. And then you come back after the summer, four inches taller, David Robinson style, <laughs> smooth skin, got a little mustache growing, goatee connected almost. Hey, how you doing? Voice done drop. And once every girl's like, oh, look at you. Now you don't know how to act. <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment your whole life. It finally gets here, and now you don't know how to act. That humble little dude that left for the summer with them pimples came back, and soon somebody looked at me like, what you looking at? What you looking at? <laughs> it's a problem. Anyway, ah, man, I got two little girls that like to play ball. We'll see if they ever get even close to this. But damn it, I hope y'all fix this before my itty bitties get up there. What am I talking about? I'm talking about what, ooh, Andrea Carter. Y'all know that's my favorite. Her and Cam Newton. Andrea Carter calls on WNBA to reveal who snubbed Caitlin Clark for Rookie of the Year. You should just be able to stand on it, and we should know who you are. Wait a minute. Where this, where the, where this tone come from? What you talking about, Willis? Like, now we got to call out the anonymous voter because what are you voting for? Who are you voting for? And why are you voting for? Andrea, wait a minute. Well, why? Why do we care? Is our, the votes cast is like yelling at a referee. I've seen people yell at referees for every year of my life in my sports existence. And I have not seen one referee ever overturn a call. I tell my son this all the time. He playing AAU right now. I'm like, if I catch you out there yelling at refs, for what? One, they ain't changing their mind. And two, your man that you were guarding is down the court already. Damn it. Catch up. Oh, that's the this this could be the whole interview right here. This could be the whole show right here. Go, go, you go. Andrea, say something. Oh, I'm gonna read it first. Okay. So during Friday's episode of WNBA Countdown, they got WNBA Count. Where have I been? Uh the show's panel discussed the news that Kayla Clark had been named the league's rookie of the year. Um, as it seems to be the case for most discussions regarding the Indiana Fever, Star Guard's latest honor, the conversation didn't focus on the 66 first place vote she did receive, but rather the one that she did. Whoever wrote this article, I'm with you. Like, all right, now we know y'all messing this up. Whether it's some of the analysts and the hosts of these shows, the WNBA itself, that includes the commissioner for sure, um, the players who have been out there, all that. But now, don't you try to overcorrect. See, this is what happens. When people get corrected, they overcorrect. That means they go to the other extreme. Calm down. 
We just want you to select. I don't need to know who didn't vote for her. I can imagine somebody who didn't. And they said Angel Reese or whoever it is. You better be Angel Reese. But the point is, I don't care. You ain't got to call them out. But let's see what they said. Hats off to Caitlin. She should have been unanimous, but I'm just going to stop there. No, no, no. I'm going to pick it up. Who Chine said, because she should have been unanimous. Okay. Y'all caught I ain't say her last name. <laughs> Ogumake. I think that's it. Ogumake. Okay, so what y'all talking about? We got beef in these streets? We got beef out here? What's up now, partner? Caitlin Clark was named WNBA Rookie of the Year yesterday as announced by the league office. Clark received 67 of 68 votes as the Indiana Fever go back to bat with her teammate, Aaliyah Boston, named Rookie of the Year just last season. What an incredible first year of historical proportions for Caitlin Clark. Not only Blake breaking rookie records, breaking league records, breaking franchise records. I mean, Andrea, she was phenomenal. That was the thing for me. It's not like she just broke records that were set by rookies. She broke records that were set by veterans in this league when they were mm. double digits into their playing career. Great Caitlin point. Clark broke those records. For me, Damn. the individual performances of Caitlin were phenomenal. They were incredible. But my favorite part about her rookie season was how her team started to gel around her and yes. how her chemistry with her teammates grew more and more and more with every game. Now, that only happened because she came in here with reverence and was met with, hey, 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 hey. And her teammates, she tried to earn their respect by, once again, overcorrecting, overcompensating by deferring too much. She wasn't playing her game. She was like, I'm going to hit y'all with these dimes and assists, but damn it. They were like, you can hit us back with some shots after <laughs> at the second half, after All-Stars and all that, after she got snubbed from the – uh, Olympics, they were like, see, this is what happened when you get a sensation as a rookie. No matter how fresh you are, it's just always some vets in the locker room like, kiss these rings. You're like, fool, you ain't won no rings. <laughs> Your old non-winning ass. That's why I'm here. Why do you think I'm the first pick? Because you were balling? If y'all were balling, if y'all were it, I couldn't be the first pick, fool. So that's where that goes. All this whole, like, she got, she turned it on, and everybody jailed around her. Yeah, 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 that's one way to say it. Other way to say it is she, she just put her toe in the water, and they were like, yeah, you could come in. And somebody went, Row! and then she finally got in, and it was over. Her play was outstanding, but how she elevated her teammates was also so fun to watch. Hats off to Caitlin. Should have been unanimous, but I'm just going to stop there. Oh, I'm going to pick it up. Please. Because she should have been a unanimous rookie of the year. And just for some historical context, a lot of time rookie of the year is typically unanimous or very close to it. Aaliyah Boston was unanimous. This was very close to it. What do you mean? You just Ooh. said what they just did. What was that? Whoa. FCC on my ass. Let's go. Let's get out of that. I believe Ryan Howard had about like 53 out of 56 votes. Right. Kaylon Yoder, I think, was about 47 of 49. So it's typically close. But ever since, you know, Angel Reese had that injury to me and also coming off of Olympic break, Caitlin Clark separated herself. Yeah. She should have been unanimous. Now to celebrate her, one thing that people forget is as a rookie, she was the most blitzed player yeah. in the WNBA, and she still put up 19, 5, and 8 assists, breaking... Most blitz player. Wonder why they were blitzing her. Because she got that shot. Now, trying to get her off her spot. Basketball talk, right? Oh, blitz her. <laughs> get her off that spot. At the same time, come in hot while you blitz her and get her off that spot. Because we are not feeling her. Like you Sick, said, the nasty, assist record. Sick. To be able to do that as a rookie in the face of that much defensive pressure... Should have been unanimous. Should have been. Uh oh, oh, sh I shouldn't cut you off. Let's go. Should've I agree. Unanimous. It should have been unanimous. And, and uh, I, I hear you, lady, but it can't be much more said. I love you, too. Um, Sugar, she one of them ladies be saying, hey, Sugar, how you doing? <laughs> hey, uh, Andrea, <laughs> I didn't know Chena Head could sing like that. That was pretty good, for real. Um, yeah, this is just another version of the Caitlin Clark saga that unfortunately, won't give her her full due. And look, she ain't the only one. Welcome to sports at the highest level. Um, name the star, and we could talk about how they didn't get their fair due, their full due. LeBron James, you know, goes to Cleveland. Oh, man, look at this team. Goodness. Takes them to the finals. Ah, oh, yeah. Then all of a sudden, that was good. Yeah, you dragged the team to the finals until he made a decision to go, you know what? I don't want to be on a bad team like this. I want to be on a good team and try and win it all. And, ah, 
Look at you. you, you you're soft. You're weak. You, <laughs> how dare you want a better team? <laughs> how dare you leave? See what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Jordan, you know, uh, selfish. Look at him. Look, he like, look, I ain't got no a lot of players with me right now. Selfish. Look at him. Selfish. He's selfish. Then he gets Phil Jackson and Scottie Pippen blossoms, and all of a sudden, boom. Now I can't I can't lose, but I can't get my full due. Oh, you mad because I don't talk politics. You mad because I Republicans buy sneakers too. Oh, you mad because I don't give y'all my time outside of just playing ball, except nobody gets they fill. <laughs> I think it's because life's a pyramid of success. And at the bottom of a pyramid is the most room and the most people because it's the most room. As you climb up, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher. Less room, fewer people, right? And atmospheric pressure trying to push you back down. Get back down to the bottom. And if you get to the top of that success pyramid, oh, all things are not perfect. You want to know why? Look at the apex of a, a, a success pyramid. Look at that. You got a balance up there. Ding, 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 ding. Kaitlin Clark. Insane rookie year. It's going to be a problem going forward for her, not only for those opponents on the court, but her having to still have to balance this. They're going to make up another narrative. Something else is going to come take shots. It's all good. She's good enough to do that. She's good enough to have that balance. She's not alone, but she's the next one, the next great in that balance. So respect to her. Can't wait to see what happens next year. And um, what else they could come up with <laughs> to go get her? Because, boy, so far, uh, so unsuccessful. This lady is not playing games out. Chill. Um, can't wait till Juju comes, though. And there's this there's, there's, there's ninth grader. Y'all seen her on Instagram? I'm going to find her name. There's a ninth grader in these streets that is insane with her game. I have not seen a ninth grader like that in my life. Oh, my God. She is next level. Make sure you guys go to projecttransition.org. Make sure you help us educate and empower the itty bitties. Yes, I got to click through this. Help us educate and empower the itty bitties. Look at these itty bitties. Through exposure and experiences. We take them to games. We take them to country clubs. We give them STEM resources and support. Oh, man, they're so excited. And all we need from you is a cup of coffee. And a swisher suite. This is five dollars a month. Is a swisher suite. That's a black and mild on, on discount, right? You give me a gym membership. You go five dollars a month all the way up to goat status. Please make sure you do that. And if you do that, I know I'm asking you for something. I'm gonna give you something. I'll give you a copy of this book right here: "The Life Opinions and Unexpected Adventures of an NFL Outlier." West Side. Yes. And if you do that, my love for you will be as strong as it is for my man, Michael Tubbs, right here, who made a one-time $250 donation supporting Project Transition. Michael Tubbs, you need to become a gym member so you get that book. All right, love for you guys. Have a great day. What's up, y'all? It's Marcel Swiley, founder of Project Transition and proud gym member. I'm excited to share with you an opportunity that will support our kids on their mission to making their dreams a reality. At Project Transition, we believe that real change comes from consistent action and support. That's why we invite you to join our powerful gym membership program that is making a difference every single day. As a gym partner, by giving every month, you'll fuel our mission by providing monthly support that turns into real empowerment and education for underserved youth. Your commitment reduces school dropouts, nurtures communities, and funds impactful programs like the Rising Stars Academy that we share. Together, we can turn potential into prosperity. Join the group of community champions driving change. Your contributions will help aid success by providing essential educational resources, building critical life skills, and fostering community strength. There's no better feeling than knowing your support will ignite hope, foster dreams, and empower the next generation. Join us today and be a part of transformative change. Help our youth become greater than their greatest excuse. Become a gym partner. Thank you.